26 million homes, but how many of us are happy with them? Does your bedroom look like this? Or this? Or even like this? Is it all too much to change? Well, today you could be in for a treat. With a free 60-minute makeover worth thousands of pounds. And you won't know a thing about it till you get home. Let's find out who wants our help today. I'd really love to surprise my mum, Lynn, because she's a fantastic mum and a fabulous friend. She's a mum in a million. Please, 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 please can we have, have a 60-minute makeover? Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. So here we are in Gravesend in Kent at Lynn's home. Her daughters Erica and Catherine and her best friend Anne want to surprise her. They're going to be helping out designer Johnny Marble, who's leading the team today. He loves coordinating cushions and using sheepskin, and he hates gaudy flock wallpaper and crocheted throws. And with a design portfolio which includes projects in the Caribbean and Abu Dhabi, he's just the man to turn drab rooms like this into beautifully coordinated ones like this. John normally meets clients before designing for them, but not today. He's taking his instructions from Lynn's friends and family. Hmm. The living room? Yes. I'm feeling peachy. Yes. <laughs> when was this room done? About ten years ago, we think. I mean, it's weathered well. It still mm -hmm. looks actually quite fresh. And yes. Do you use this room a lot? Yes. 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 It does get used. Oh, very tidy family. <laughs> I like to see that. Very. Got a little glimpse in my mind of what it's going to look like, which is handy since we've been yes. doing it 60 minutes. <laughs> is it anything that you'd like to keep in this room that would ha I'd have to not touch or bring back into the room? Um, we'd like to keep the fireplace that was actually built by um, our grandpa, who sadly passed away in December last year. Only the fireplace. I can maybe look at the fire itself. Yes, you can. Yeah, just can the brick go. built. Just the brick yeah. built. Yeah. Okay. If you pop that sticker on that. Thank you. I don't think she'd have ever chosen it, but I think she will really, really like that. Now, down in the living room, the room you're working in, mm -hmm. we're going to keep the fireplace because your grandfather built it. Yes. But the little basket itself is a wee bit dated, mm. and I thought we it could is. give it a new lease of life. So this is from firestoyou.com. Okay. It's 385 pounds, and we've got the electrical variety today because you don't have any gas supply to no. there. So we're replacing electric to electric, and it's got mm -hmm. some coals that'll sit on here and just give yeah. a nice glow. Great. But if you ever do get the house converted, yeah for gas or central mm -hmm. heating or solid fuel, it's easily convertible. Yeah. It's a lovely piece, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's going to make the lounge look really, really modern. How do you think it's going in there? It's crazy. What do you think is <laughs> happening in your room since you're not in there? Sixty minutes ago, the living room was very peachy and the blue carpet was over 10 years old and showing its age. The brick fireplace had been built by Lynn's father and had real sentimental value. It was a definite keep me. Now it's chic and comfortable with a luxurious finish. John's maximised the floor space by adding seating in the bay area and the fireplace has been updated with a sleek modern basket. Lynn, your new living room. That's wonderful. Wow. wow. That's fantastic. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Look at this. It looks sweet as well. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> We left your fireplace alone. Yeah, yeah, thank you. But yeah. you've got, got a new, a new fire. fire. Yeah, that's and lovely. And it's got blue coals. That is lovely. Thank you.